Today this is my supper. I do not know how to say grace, and I do not know if I am supposed to say grace or anything like that, but I am on the internet, and this is a internet eat supper. So me saying grace, me toasting the chef, is this video. As you can see here, I have a lot of garbage that needs to be cleared up. Garbage and recycling. And I intend to do so, but my short-term memory is not that good. And uh, I don't know why I have this old piece of RAM. Um, I don't know what use it is, but for some reason I want to keep it. Okay. So I am eating my supper. Um, it's very tasty. And I think it is a reward for following instructions. Um, and of course, I'm lucky enough that I will be fed. I think, I think it's given that I will be fed. Starving to death would be bad. And, uh, I guess that is possible. So I'm eating these little wieners. Um, I don't know if it counts as pork. I think it counts as pork. But, um, I don't think my parents want me to have religious fixation. It's something I'm interested in. My dad likes genealogy. Um, I think maybe he found, um, learning about your immediate ancestors is uh, more fulfilling or more affirming than a book that uh, someone wrote or a bunch of books people wrote long before anyone can remember. So I'm going to try to stop thinking about religion so much. And also I want to take my pills. Some of my pills help me deal with anxiety they're addictive and um, the goal is to not drink some other goals too that I won't state but I want to be good and I am despite my surroundings um, I, my mom likes to say we're upper middle class, but I think at least me, uh, I'm low class. Pretty low class. And I'm nearing the end of, uh, out of insanity, manic episode. There's 
a lot of words to describe it. And uh, I think the root of religion is fear. Christopher Hitchens introduced me to the idea of the numinous. I don't really know what that means, but I've had experiences that felt supernatural. And I don't know how to explain them. Or if I should um, even try to wrap my brain around it. If I try to understand, that might be bad. When I lived in subsidized housing, what my friend crudely called a halfway home, I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, I, 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 what another friend crudely called poverty food. And poverty food is, um, what you eat when you don't have a lot of money. And uh, I know I can't affect government policy, but I find it difficult to think how someone on government assistance, such as myself, could survive. I mean, I think basically what they give you as a disabled person, and considering the suffering that happens in my brain, I'd say I'm disabled. Or, you know, I was at a park once and there were people advocating allowing autism to be categorized as something that could get a government assistance. And I don't think I'm autistic. I don't really know what the life of an autistic person is. I saw a movie and uh, it seemed similar to me except something that they dealt with um, as a child. And I've had things I've dealt with as a child, but I don't know if the category that you would put me in would be autistic. And of course there are people who say labeling is bad, and, and there's people who say co-opting labels that aren't given to you by an authority is bad, I don't know. It's around four o'clock, and um, that means supper is early. I want to take my pills because my pills are basically drugs and prescribed drugs. 
don't drink beer anymore. Someone told me. Um, their doctor told them they needed calcium or something. And instead of taking the doctor's prescription, they ate a lot of cheese. Um, and I used these words to justify continuing drinking. And I really want to stay sober because it's very difficult to stop. And I want to stop smoking cigarettes too. And people say I'm not ready for that, but I'm doing well. And when people say I'm doing well, I got paranoid. I mean, sometime in my life I will be thrown down a well. Like, you know, water wells, you put the bucket down. I'm really bad at language. Um, there's language within English, and I think some people have been trying to teach me it. And I don't. I I lead a sheltered, isolated life. Originally, not by choice, but. In the state I am now, I wish to stay sheltered. And I've had a friend offer to uh, visit me, and I like the person who offered to visit, but. Um, I fear, I had a friend online who said he only interacts with people because he thinks he can get something out of them. And I fear that might be true with all people. And I don't, I don't want to be eaten literally or figuratively. Then there's the tool song, Life Feeds on Life. And I could use that to justify not being a vegetarian. But my dad, who I think is smart, um, I think he went through a phase when he was with vegetarians and he realized it's not sustainable. I trust my dad's judgment. And sometimes I think vegans are not vegetarians. I think vegans eat meat. But, like I said, it's just a different language. And I try to be honest and truthful. And I think sometimes I um, reflexively lie the same way if a doctor knocked your knee with a hammer your knee would automatically jerk up and if it didn't uh, it indicated a kind of sickness
and I voted today it's the last day of the month and I'm praying to an imaginary god like a flying spaghetti monster that whatever is happening today forecasts like the weather a reduction of fear of course alcohol withdrawals very strong and my friend said it can take a year before it's completely out of your body and I, I saw a video that said taking these prescription pills just slows down the healing and then I think of pills a pillow is a pill a cigarette is a pill. Resting on someone to fall asleep is a pill. But I don't want to learn these languages. I want to speak like a child. And I wrote somewhere that my parents punished me for my own good psychologically. Um, and uh, I'm afraid when my parents are gone, I'm going to get a big punishment just so I can be submissive towards my new caretakers and I don't want that to happen someone on a bus told me you eat disgusting and I thought it was funny but my friend was saying no I think you actually offended him by how you were eating in some households if you burp you're supposed to say excuse me and if you sneeze you say bless you and that's not how it is in this household. This is my home. Even though I have no claim to it. So many things scare me and I got scared less and less, which means I'm getting less sick. But also it feels like getting less sick makes me more susceptible to poor judgment.
So I ate it all. And I'll put this video together. Then if I remember, I will clean up.